Hello, welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. Today's tutorial: Freeze Panes in Excel 2007. The Freeze Panes is a fantastic tool, a very popular tool used to freeze rows and columns in place so that they're always visible no matter what row or column of the spreadsheet you are looking at at any one time. Great example here is that as we scroll down our worksheet we can see references to certain uh, products, certain items of furniture that were mentioned such as this number 12 in H51. I can see that it was made by, uh, sorry, and ordered by Dreaming DIY a company in Exeter, United Kingdom, but I cannot see what the 12 refers to. Without scrolling back up to the top row, where I can now see it's chest of drawers that it's referring to, I do not know what the number 12 refers to. Now what we'd like to do is freeze the top row so that as you scroll down the worksheet it's always visible and there's no need for scrolling up and down or remembering what a column header uh, may be. In Excel 2007, this is a very easy task. All we have to do is click on the View tab on the ribbon, then click on the Freeze Panes button in the Window group, and click Freeze Top Row. And that is it. As if by magic, this tiny kind of border, as it looks, appears below Row 1. And as I scroll down the worksheet, I can see these other orders, even the number 12, in H51 and I can easily reference what they is that they've ordered without the need for I say this navigating scrolling up and down however another problem is created and that is that as I move to the right hand side and start looking at orders for a garden table maybe I can no longer see the company that it's referring to this number four in cell L43 I know it's a garden table now but without scrolling to the left I cannot reference that is by a company called Garden Glories. So what I'd like to do is freeze the top row, but also the first two columns, columns A and column B. Now to do that, the first thing I'll need to do is unfreeze my panes, because you cannot edit, you cannot move panes that you've frozen. So what I'll do from my view tab, I'll click back on the freeze panes button in the window group and choose unfreeze panes. And now what I need to do is select the appropriate cell. The appropriate cell in this scenario is going to be C2. The reason it's going to be C2 is because when I freeze panes, it will freeze everything above and to the left of what of my active cell, as it's known. So for my position here, the only row above it is row 1. And the only columns to the left of it are columns A and B. Therefore, when I freeze panes, it will freeze row one and the first two columns. So let's do that. Back to the freeze panes button. But this time, I'm just going to choose freeze panes in the normal setting at the top. And there we go. It's frozen the row above and the two columns to the left. As I scroll down, the top row is always visible. And as I scroll to the right, I can see that the first two columns are always visible also. That's Freeze Pains. Thank you for listening. Uh, check out more of our video tutorials, more of our articles, and what we offer at computergargar.com. Uh, or find more of our videos on our YouTube channel, Computer Gargar YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you shortly.